Hey guys, what's up? This is Rob with One Star Reviews. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to review the Unz Angle 3 portable Bluetooth speaker. This is it right here. You can pick this up at Amazon. I paid $29.95 for it. I'll put a link in the description. Basically, this is a super compact portable Bluetooth speaker. Okay, the dimensions on this is 5.3 inches by 2.8 by 2.6. So this is only 5 inches tall. Compared to some of your other bigger Bluetooth speakers, we're going to see how well this uh, performs. Now, I have another speaker here that I'm going to compare it to, and that's going to be my VavaVoom 20, which I bought a couple years ago. And you can see the size difference on these two, how much bigger that VavaVoom is, right? This is probably two, about two inches bigger than the Unz. But I've been hearing a lot about this Unz speaker. I got it for my son for, birth, for his birthday, and he just needed something really small, portable to put in the shower because he was putting his iPhone like in the bathtub, you know, on the ledge while he's taking a shower. So I was like, "That's a no go. We're going to uh, get him something a little bit smaller, but hopefully it sounds really good." Uh, what if it compares to that Vava Voom at 50 bucks? This one's only 30. Let's see. Uh, let's see what it is. All right. So let's talk about what it says on Amazon real quick. This is high quality, crystal clear sound. 100 foot Bluetooth range. Uh, let's see, this is Bluetooth 4.2, which you know, for 29 bucks, you're not gonna complain about that. Uh, this works with everything, you know, all your devices and uh, tablets and things like that. Uh, again, like I said, this IPX5 uh, water resistant, so it's splash proof, rain proof, and as it says on, this, on the uh, website, this is a shower proof speaker too. So I'm sure you can get it splashed. I don't know if you submerge it or anything, if it'll do anything crazy, but it is IPX5, so it's safer than than the Vava. I think the Vava Voom is uh, IPX5 as well. This has got a speakerphone. You could use it for uh, long battery life. They, they claim 14 hours, and you have a bunch of inputs and stuff. I'll show you that in a sec. Um, sorry about the sound. Some dude decided to crank up his lawnmower right in front of my house. So hopefully there is not too much interference. All right, so we talked about that, and let's let's take a look around the speaker just to see what we're looking at. Now up front, you can see the two stereo drivers right here. They're, I don't know, they're about an inch and inch and a half big or whatever. These are gonna cover all your highs and the mids. And then underneath here, they have passive radiator. So you don't normally see this in a speaker of this size, but it's got a passive radiator on the bottom. That's gonna take care of your low end. It's got some nice wide, uh, rubber stoppers down here so it'll stay 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 put when you got it on the on the table a little bit of Unz branding here Unz, uh what does it say the Unz.com. so it's underneath not a whole lot of branding up top at all really you can't really tell who makes this speaker here's your power button right here uh, you hold it down to go into pairing mode and here is your inputs for here's your micro usb to charge it, and then here's your 3.5 auxiliary jack. You could do headphones. Actually, you can't do headphones. This is uh, where you plug it into an, ex an external source, like a laptop or anything like that, or your phone. And then over here, you got your LED light indicator. This is gonna indicate power on, pairing, uh, low battery, all that good stuff. And then here's your Unz branding right here. And then you got your volume up and down, or skip and reverse tracks. And then you have your play, pause, and this will double as your um, answering, uh, answering phone calls. So not much to this one. Again, this is only five inches. You know, let's see how it performs. Let's see if it, how, it, how it does upwards, downwards, uh, left, right, whatever. Um, I have some audio that I'm gonna play for you right now. Again, it's just gonna sound, you know, through the speaker, through the, the phone speaker, it's not gonna sound that good, but I'll just give you an idea what it sounds like. And then I'm going to play the same song with the va-va-voom. It's a little dirty. Um, and then we'll see like what the difference is, all right? Okay, here we go. First song. This is gonna be more bass heavy. Oops, that is actually controlling the Vava Voom. Let's do this. All right, so I got my iPhone uh, connected to the Unz and I have my laptop connected to the Vava Voom. All right, so let's go.
Now that, that was actually shaking the table just a little bit. Now for a super small speaker like this, that sounded pretty good. Now I'm a bass head, I have a you know stereo set up in my car, I've had subs in there for a long time, and you know, I love great sounding speakers. This for the for the size sounds really good actually. So let me put this over to the side and we're gonna play the same song with the Vava Voom. And we're gonna see the difference. Now that is gonna be on my laptop. Boom's obviously larger, it's got more drivers on it and stuff like that. One more time with the with the oons. Max volume. both of these. Now I will tell you the va va voom actually sounded better on the bass side and what do you expect? I mean this thing is uh, over seven probably eight inches big long here. It's got a lot more room in here for the bass to resonate through here in the chambers and stuff so you know for the bass definitely va va voom is definitely better but I kind of like the highs better on the oons. Uh, it's got these two stereo drivers in the front that uh, create a lot of mids and highs. Now, is it super deep bass? No. Is it super, you know, um, you know, distortion free at the very top? Because I did max volume it. There's a little bit of distortion, but if you if you buy this speaker for like a cookout or something like that, you're you know, and you got a ton of people a barbecue at the house, this is probably not the speaker for you anyway. This is a very personal size speaker. I mean, look how it fits in the hand. I mean, I could probably put this, you know, in my cargo pocket if I wanted to. It, you know in my shorts or my pants or just something small you can stick in a backpack just so you can have portable sound if you're going to the ball game if you're going to the baseball field if you're doing whatever and you want to have like a little boom box type thing for personal listening or just a small group of people this is a good buy right here so I'm gonna give this one a big thumbs up for twenty nine dollars I'll put the link to Amazon in the description this little thing is worth the money I believe there's nothing that's gonna be this price that's gonna compare to the um, overall sound quality and it does pack a little punchy bass it's not deep it's not you know super deep but it's enough for you to hear it and for me this is a good buy so thank you for watching this is Rob of One Star Reviews God bless you stay safe give me some more ideas on some more tech that I could review and I'll see you next time